Hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually here doing this video right now. Um, you know the old saying, you go swimming with the fishies? Hey guys, my cell phone just went swimming with the fishies. The tripod fell over, and the phone went launching in there, and I was like, ah! And I see the light on the phone in the water, and I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God. And I, I pulled it out, and it's still working. So I'm going to find out from this video if it is okay or not. I hope it's okay, because... <laughs> I, I haven't finished paying for this thing yet. I have not finished paying. I think I've got six more payments left on it before eligible for an upgrade. Oh, Lordy. So, now that I've had a heart attack, I mean, seriously, my heart's going doo -doo 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 -doo. Like, I mean, doo -doo -doo. it's really, it's really going crazy right now. So, now that I've had a heart attack, got myself together. Oh, boy interesting thing interesting thing I'm sorry forgive me I'm off my game right now because I'm praying that my phone's okay I'm hoping that it doesn't all of a sudden just get I mean I, I think it's water resistant but I'm not sure I, I'm just not sure but anyway my quarterback Dak Prescott when you think about quarterbacks in the NFC East how do you rank the quarterbacks that we have. You know, Eli Manning's now gone. You know, he was a two-time Super Bowl MVP. Um, Carson Wentz was part of the team that actually won a Super Bowl, although he's had no success in the playoffs. Danny Dimes, well, he needs a payday loan because he's not quite worth a dime. And then you've got Dwayne Haskins, who he was throwing some bombs today. He was throwing some bombs today, I can admit that, but he's still got a long ways to go. And then there's Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, the most maligned quarterback in the NFL, without a doubt. They're always talking about Dak is of this, Dak misses that, Dak, 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 Dak. He's literally under the microscope. But when you think about the Cowboys, When we think about the Jason Garrett era, you can look and say Tony Romo is a good quarterback, maybe even a great quarterback. But for whatever reason, the Dallas Cowboys, and I, I still put a lot on coaching. So it's kind of interesting that last night that um, Colin Cowherd, uh, Cowherd was talking about how coaching does make a difference because he was saying that uh, Baker Mayfield should get a pass because Kitchens isn't a good coach. Well, if that's the case, can't we kind of say that about Jason Garrett? I can't say that Jason Garrett is a hot coaching commodity. Can you guys say Jason Garrett's a hot coaching commodity? Can you? I don't think they could say it. In fact, I know they can't say it. But here's an interesting thing. Before you can do anything, you've got to take care of business in your division. And that's the one thing you got to look at the Dallas Cowboys under Dak Prescott. We have taken care of business in our division. Think about this. The only game that Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys have lost against the Washington Redskins, they had a chance to win, but a call, a, a kind of crazy, questionable call, ended up being the difference. We have the official say that this long snapper moved the ball too much. Something that happens all the time in football. Long snappers are always, you know, they're, they're, it's like they're making a sandwich, you know. It's just like they're kneading bread or something. But it was called on the Cowboys. And that moved the ball back five yards, which would have been the game tying field goal in the end of regulation. The first kick that they called it on, he made. 
second kick five yards further back, we lost. And that's the only loss that the Dallas Cowboys under Dak Prescott have lost to the Washington Redskins. True story. We go to the New York stinking Giants. Dak's rookie season, the only two losses that he had in the division were against the New York Giants. The last three years, Dak and the Dallas Cowboys are 6-0 against the Giants. Not bad. Then we've got the Philadelphia Eagles, the team that everybody says is great. And they will only count the last game that Dak Prescott played against them. They were Super Bowl champs. They were a team that everybody talks about that's great. But the amazing thing is, is Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys are five and three over the last four years. Five and three. That's the worst record that they have against anybody in their division. Seven and one, six and two, five and three. I would say that's kind of owning the division, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you kind of say that? How many wins is that? Seven and eight, I mean, excuse me, seven and six is 13. 13 plus five, that's 18. 18 and three, 18 and six. 18 and six in the NFC East, damn. Yet, we say Dak Prescott's a bump. Hmm. Man. So I wonder what Carson Wentz's record is in the division. Hmm. 18 and 6. It's kind of crazy. Hey guys. How y'all doing? They're hungry. They might just take my hand off. Let me make sure I don't knock the phone in the water again. Jeez. See if you guys can see it. Ah. Okay. All right. Can you see them? All right. Defeating Frenzy. Hey, guys. I I'm trying a new trick now. I'm trying to teach them to swim through my hand. Actually, right, so I need to get some... Oh, get some food that they can get. Okay, guys. No, no, come on, come on. No, flip. So I'm across my hand. No, go ahead. There you go. Swim across. There you go. Come on. Swim across. Swim across. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Come on. There you go. Swim on through. Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on. There. Ah. There you go. Good, good boy. Yeah. We have fun training the fishing. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. I gotta get the big ones to really do this. There you go. Yeah. Oh, the big guy's getting it. Come on. All right, so my babies, well, they like to get fed. And um, it's definitely feeding time here at the zoo. But, you know, forget all the stuff that you always hear about Dak isn't this and that Dak isn't that. Dak is a damn good quarterback. 
and the Dallas Cowboys are very, very lucky to have them. And I got to tell you, I can't wait till we have a season. I pray that we have a season and we see my quarterback. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a great weekend. The fish sure are. Let's hope my cell phone is still working. <laughs>